हैव विद अस मिस्टर मिस श्रृष्टि भंडारी वेलकम मिस भंडारी कैन यू प्लीज टेल अस अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड अबाउट योर कंपनी सो आई एम श्रृष्टि भंडारी एज यू नो एंड आई एम एन इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियर फ्रॉम पेन स्टेट बाय एजुकेशन एंड एंटरप्रेन्योर एट हार्ट Manglam Information Technologies Private Limited is a family-owned business. I am the CEO and a second-generation entrepreneur. Um, we started this company back in 2000, and uh, we were pioneers in medical transcription. Today, we are serving doctors and lawyers globally in the IT, um, legal, and the healthcare industry. Uh, we are a growing organization. We have had a 5x growth in the last five years, and we plan on growing every single day. we have a team strength of over 700 people and we are amdabad based company and with a office in the us and across like in us uk and yeah globally actually okay, so uh, congratulations for this award uh, can you please tell me what you what this award means to you and what are feeling right now i think i am so ecstatic that i have received this award um, it has been a bucket list to get featured in a 30 under 30 and i am so pleased that uh business world disrupt was able to recognize my work and make me a part of the business world community and i'm really thankful for that so uh, there are a lot of economists that uh, we are saying that india is a great position as far as economic uh, growth is concerned so would you like to give some uh, tips for new entrepreneurs when who are starting their journey like what should they do uh, in terms of business and what should not they do i think from my personal learning i think patience has been the biggest key um there are failures that do come in the journey and we have to embrace those failures rather than getting demotivated team building is another very big aspect you have to have people that you can rely on you can delegate work to and be rest assured that yes the work is going to get done i think the third is going to be definitely customer satisfaction i know we all talk about customer centricity but in today's world customer centricity to I think it needs to be percolated to the ground level more than just the senior level in the team. That is what brings in the success and that is what I think entrepreneurs need to focus on. When they're doing team building, they need to bring that customer centricity to the bottom level into the company. Um uh, I think rest just be empathetic, be there for your people, talk to them, make them feel a part rather than just a company as a corporate but more like a family. That's been my success. in my organization we believe that each of our employees is part of our family and not just employees but also our customers and when they grow is when the company grows so that's our motto and then we go forward with so that so when we talk about family businesses and uh, especially in current times do you face any challenges uh, in conducting daily uh, activities in your business oh yes obviously there are challenges and i think every business every nature of business has its own challenges um some of our challenges definitely would be when um say hiring hiring is a big challenge when we are growing as a growing organization there's a sudden bout where you have to hire a big number of people right so that has been one of our challenges that we've been coping with but i think our hr team is doing a fantastic job the consultants that we are working with they've been able to give us the number of people that we require but at the end of the day training is what makes them into the capable earning employee for the organization and the asset for the organization So that definitely is one of our biggest challenges. So when we talk about uh, India's growth story, uh, women are huge part of it, and they are leading uh, several businesses. So what are what's your advice for female entrepreneurs who are starting their business? So we have forty five percent of our organization as women. We are pushing women to take on leadership roles every single day. We have a whole team of women working in the night. We've given them a platform to work from home rather than coming to office because one. even though amdabad is a safe country a uh, safe city i'm sorry in india but i still feel like working from home is giving them more opportunity to work so as young women entrepreneurs i feel it's important that we provide platforms which will give them not only the comfort but also make them feel empowered i think giving them the empowerment is the key to making them also successful into the business world so talking about the in general uh, participation of women labor force in active growth story so what are the challenges that they still uh, face in the current time as well so i think the biggest challenge i have heard from my employees is that once we get married lot of our in laws don't want us to work or when even if they encourage them to work for a few years once they have a child it is difficult because they're like oh it's not possible to manage home and office together but for that the solution that we came out was working from home 
and this has been a game changer for us. We've been able to induct so many more women and specific women teams which have given like crazy results in the terms of customer satisfaction because I believe women are more focused when it comes to detail and they're very detail oriented. So I think that has been one of our biggest successes with the challenges we face with women. Okay. So talking about uh, as we are all set to enter 2024, so what are internal strategies and goals that you are going to pursue next year? So I think our biggest challenge or goal here is going to be to grow and we are growing every day. Uh, we want to come up with new service lines to help our customers grow better in the legal and actually develop a niche in the LPO, legal LPO, KPO sector. So that is where my goal for the next year is going to be. We, I aim to have another 5x to 10x growth in the next 5 to 7 years. We are pushing for that every single day. Uh, possible joint venture opportunities, looking at newer um, business avenues. That is going to be another goal that I will be looking at. So what are the early trends that you foresee in your sector in next year? I think it is going to be the LPO market. Uh, I think in the LPO also moving towards the KPO is going to be a bigger trend. Uh, it is almost a billion dollar industry, multi-billion dollar industry and there is a lot of scope there. A lot of organizations are moving towards from being a BPO, KPO into the LPO sector being a KPO. So we primarily work in the LPO sector and I would like to stick to that and I see there's a lot of opportunity there and I would like to service my customers there. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time. Thank, Thank you. you.